you guys, it's Jessica, and today I'm bringing you a haul um, from Gorgeous Cosmetics. And I had never heard of this brand, and they sent me this stuff, and um, they're not sponsoring me or anything. They just sent it to me, and I was like, as I searched for it more on YouTube, I found that there really wasn't a lot about it. And as I researched this more, this brand was featured like on Keeping Up with the Kardashians at one point. I've never seen it, but that's, I saw like screenshots of them like swatching this stuff or I don't know. Um, and so there's like a little bit of buzz around it, but there's not a lot out there about the specific products. And plus they're really, really pricey. So this is something that if you were actually wanting to splurge and buy one of these items, you'd probably want to know how they are before you buy it. That's how I buy high end. I research the crap out of it. So. That being said, that's what the purpose of this video is, just to show you about these products that are out there that I didn't even know existed. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I mentioned that Gorgeous Cosmetics was a little pricier. They're sold on their own site, which I can link below. I think it's like gorgeouscosmetics.com or something simple like that. Um, but I also saw they're sold on Nordstrom. Now, every time I buy something on Nordstrom, I always use my Ebates account because you get cash back and um, right now they're doing some deal. I don't know how long it's lasting, but they were doing a 16% cash back, which is a big deal. Um, and if you don't know about Ebates, I talk about it so much that I have to like catch myself. Um, but it's amazing. You just sign up and you get cash back on things you were going to buy anyway online. It's, it's really simple. They walk you through it, but I can leave my link below. It is a referral link, um, but it's amazing. Anyway. So that's where it's sold. The first thing I want to show you is I think one of their most famous products and it is their eight pan palette in their ever metallic shades. So there are eight humongous eyeshadows in this palette and the palette is really, I think when you look at it, it doesn't look that well made. I don't know. I mean, I, li I like the packaging, but if you actually hold it, it's really hefty and you can tell it's well made. So I think that's what surprised me first and foremost. But these pans are actually humongous. Let me see if I've got like a MAC shadow to compare it to. Here we go. So this is a MAC shadow compared to these. The MAC shadow, I mean, it's still a decent size, but these are absolutely huge. So I wanted to show you a few swatches because these are so um, buttery and just absolutely I mean they're shimmery they're just gorgeous and it's kind of one of those things that they blend so well together it's just it looks it feels to me like my Marc Jacobs shadows do and I only have one palette and one of the shadows in that palette are is terrible but they all I'm actually wearing Marc Jacobs the Marc Jacobs palette today they blend so well together it's like it doesn't take any work and that's how these feel to me so I'm really excited to try these out and perhaps review them and do like a whole swatch video of it but I was really impressed I'm excited to try this some more um, they also sent their gorgeous cosmetics duh powder perfect pressed powder and again the packaging this one is black but it has that kind of NARS feeling to the packaging um, and it says gorgeous on it kind of embossed in it and it feels more like a powder foundation. Is that what it, it says it's a pressed powder, but it, it has, it feels as though it's got the coverage of more of a powder foundation. It feels really nice. So I'm excited to give that a try. I haven't been using powder a lot in my routine. However, as summer approaches, I think I, you know, I'll be, I'll certainly be oilier, more oily. Which one's correct? I don't know. Um, so I probably will need more of a pressed powder. So I'm actually excited to try that. They also sent, two of their lipsticks. I was really excited. I'm actually wearing one today. Um, I'm wearing Whimsy, which again, this packaging is really hefty and nice and it's just a sleek black um, style square. <laughs> I had a student the other day, sorry, where they were learning about rectangular prisms and he asked me if there was such a thing as a square tangular prism and I have giggled about that so much because it's just so cute. Um, anyway, there is and it's called a cube. But anyway, so it's kind of a square tangular packaging and just really, really nice and kind of heavy. Um, but the color is one that I don't own anything like this color. It, it's almost like a purplish grayish pink. And when I say grayish, I mean grayish. I don't know how to, it's like a taupe pink. But it's so beautiful and it glides on so smooth. And I wore this this morning um, before teaching and it lasted quite a while and it never really felt crazy or dry. Um, so, I mean, I've only worn it once. This makes twice, but I like it so far. And I really, and that color was whimsy. I don't remember if I said. 
Um, and then the other one they sent is Bombshell, which I haven't even swatched this yet. I'm really excited. Looks like a bright fuchsia. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So that's amazing. Oh, I'm excited about that one. I might bring that on my honeymoon. I don't know. I say that about like everything. I'm never, I don't know how I'm ever going to pick what I actually bring on this three week trip. I don't know how I'm going to pick. So those were, I was very excited. They also sent two of their lashes. You guys know I'm not big on lashes, but they're the, well, they're their Madame Lash eyelashes. Okay. And these are the Jane's and they're just kind of a little more sparse, if you will. And then these are the minis, which has a lot more lash to them. Again, I don't wear lash, lashes often slash ever, but good to know that they sell them in case you were curious. Um, and the band on them, I mean, they look like they're actually pretty nice, to be honest with you. I don't know. Um, I'm not really a lash snob, so I'm not really the person to ask about that. So they also sent a lip liner and I wore this, I'm wearing this underneath this and it's in the shade Kiana, it's Q-I-A-N-A, -A, Kiana. Um, and it's their lip pencil and I actually lined and then filled in my lips and I love the color of this because it's kind of like a light peachy color. I have it right in between those. Like, a, I don't, again, it's like a nude, but it's again almost more gray like. I just love that. So I was very excited and this is very, creamy and so far it hasn't moved outside my lip line. I don't know. I haven't worn it long enough, but again, anything you want reviews on, let me know below the ones you're kind of the most interested in. So they also sent, oh, apparently this is another one of their best sellers. This is their base perfect liquid foundation. I love the packaging. I love the way the pump looks. I haven't used it yet. I haven't swatched it yet. Wouldn't it be called a swatch with foundation? I guess. But, um, it just, everything feels so well made, which it should be because it's expensive. I just can't believe I've never heard of this brand. Come on. Um, they sent me the shade while I'm doing this. Um, one NB BP. I don't know. Come on. Whoa. Okay. So here's the color. Actually might be a good, feels very liquidy. Although that was the very first pump ever out of it. So I don't really know. <laughs> um, but it, it certainly covers, um, might be a little too dark on me, I don't know, but um, it feel, it already, okay, so I just blended it in with my hand. It already feels like soft. It doesn't feel tacky at all. Like some of my favorite foundations, I have to admit, are really tacky and I have to set them with like a, a loose powder before I can even put like blush and bronzer on. But this one instantly feels like soft, like a baby's bottom. I'm not even kidding you, so that's pretty cool. Um, Excited to try that tomorrow on my face. So that was exciting to get and to try. Um, they also sent a few like random things and then they also sent like a whole kit. I'm gonna show you the kit that they sent at the end. So they also sent some of their like shimmer dusts. Um, they sent two shades of their shimmer dust. There's sand shimmer and this one looks, well, I don't know. It looks kind of like a peachy gold shimmer. Yeah. So it's right there. Oh, that looks really pretty. That looks like Stila Kitten to me. Um, and then they also sent suede. Um, let me get some of this. This one looks a little darker. Oh, it's just a little more cool toned, I think. It's not darker at all. Um, gosh, or no, it's a little more pink toned. That's what it is. So suede is underneath. Can you guys see? I don't know. They're all blending together. So that is suede and that is sand shimmer. Really, really pretty. Um, like really pretty. You're like really pretty. Like really pretty. Oh, so you agree. You think you're pretty. <laughs> Thumbs up if you know what movie that's from. Okay, so those were those sand shimmers. There didn't seem to be like crazy fallout or anything like that, but for me, I would apply it with my finger if I were you. Um, and so then the, they also sent a color flash and opal. And I think this is supposed to be a glitter. So I'll be careful. It looks like a kind of darker. Yeah. It's like a deeper colored glitter. Pretty cool. Now I do know they sent this, what is it called? Glitz fix. And I think this is supposed to be like a glitter glue type primer. Maybe you put it. Yeah. So you, you would put this down, it's just clear, you can't see it. And then you put the glitter on top of it. Yeah, and it doesn't move. 
Um, so that is nice. I have some, like an e.l.f. glitter primer, but I don't use glitter all that often, so I haven't really tried it. But that I like the format of this, that it's not a squeezy tube that you can kind of brush it on um, with the doe foot applicator. So that is pretty cool. Um, and it, I think that really is having some sort of glitter primer or glitter glue like that. It really is an essential in a makeup collection, at least having one. Like I said, e.l.f. sells one too. Um, for a couple bucks on their website. Okay, so moving forward, they also sent a liner. This is their eyeliner pen. It's called Eyeline, like the letter I. Um, and it, I'm pretty sure it's in black. So it's a felt tip applicator. Oh, it's instantly really, really black. Wow. Um, I will say I'm noticing right away that it's the first initial one is bleeding. No, they're both are. They are bleeding outside of their little line. So that, I mean, to me, that really is a big deal because when I am lining, especially with something like this, I want it to be very precise. So when it's bleeding out even a little bit, I mean, it can make everything look so sloppy. Now, of course, that was the very first time I've ever done it. So I don't know, but I don't know. Most liners I have don't do that. I'm just saying. So I, I don't know if that one would be worth the splurge. And again, it might get better after a few uses after it kind of dries a bit, but I would say maybe spend your money elsewhere. They also sent another liner, but this one's a pencil one. It's called their Eye Ink, Eye again, Liquid Eye Pencil in Carbon Black. I'm trying to get it like a few different. So that's, you know, a couple back and forth. That's just one. It, uh, it's not the blackest line I've ever seen. It, it is like, especially up close, it is a little more gray. Do I think it would be great just to kind of, if you're just using it to tight line? Sure, because if you know you're putting like for me, I put a cream eyeliner on top of it no matter what anyway. So I would still use this, but do I think it's worth the price tag? Probably not. I would say so far everything's been great, but the eyeliners, just from my first impression, I'm not impressed with those. So that is my honest opinion of those. So now going into the kit that they sent, um, it's called their Royal Regalia Limited Edition Palette, I guess. So there's like a palette in there and some lip products it looks like. I'm excited. It's got a lot of purple and the bag is purple and really well made. It says gorgeous cosmetics on it. So let's see what's in here. We'll start with the palette. Again, it's got that same symbol, but this is ha yeah, about half the size of the big one I showed you earlier. Um, but just as hefty and not, ooh. So it's got, again, those purples, but I am loving these two shades right chair. Gosh, you can almost use this eyeshadow as a contour. I mean, look at the, well, it might be a little warmer tone than what I would use, but it's so pigmented. I mean, oh my gosh, you could totally, whoa. I just had to blend it out. That is a beautiful mid-tone brown though. This is the kind of shimmery white. Uh, no, that is nice. It's just gotta be in the right light. It's just really pearlescent. It's not necessarily a stark white. No, I'm still not really impressed with that white one, even looking at it again. But let's swatch these purple ones, because since this is limited edition, if you wanted it, you'd probably have to get it soon, and I want you to see what it's like. So those are the other two purples. The deeper purple swatched well. The lighter purple, well, eh. Hmm. Man, I, I just love that brown shade. The other three I'm not totally in love with. Of course, swatching is very different than actually using with the brush and blending. So these might be amazing. And I will say some of my favorite palettes are not the most pigmented things in the world. Like the L'Oreal palette one is one of my favorite palettes of all time ever. And honestly, some of my favorite shades aren't very pigmented when you swatch them, but they're amazing on the eyes. So I don't want to judge this one by its cover. And I will say that mid-tone brown is one of the best I've ever swatched in my life. So that is amazing. So They've, ooh, they've got like four lip products and then this eyeliner. It's one of their, hmm, well, I can't really see it. It's all written. It's their eye ink liquid eye pencil. So it's the same thing, but it's in like a purple shade. Ooh, this one's a lot better. And it's really got a kind of a metallic quality to it as well. So I like this one a lot better. That's fun. And then the lip, I guess it's all lip glosses, isn't it? Lip lacquer. Let me make sure they're all, yeah, lip lacquer, lip lacquer, lip lacquer. Yeah, they're all lip lacquers. So let's start with this deepest one. This one's in Berry. It's got a doe foot applicator. These are the size of a MAC lip gloss, just for reference. They're not like long. They're the size of a MAC lip gloss. So they're kind of like, they almost look like little shortened versions of them. Wow. This is more of a brown purple than a bluish purple. It really is. Oh, no, like violet. 
I haven't, honestly, that's rare to see in a lip gloss. So that's interesting. Would I wear it maybe if I dress as Elvira for Halloween, which actually that could be fun. But it is really pigmented and if you're looking for one this color, I mean, that was nice. Does it have a smell? Did I get my nose in it? Oh, I didn't, okay. Let me see though. There's literally no smell whatsoever, which is kind of nice. Um, okay, this one looks amazing. This is in the shade Magenta, and it just looks like a beautiful, it almost looks like a coral pink. Yeah, kind of a warm pink color. These are so pigmented, it's crazy. They are called lip lacquers, so their lacquers typically are more like a paint almost, like kind of a cross between a gloss and a paint. Um, so another deeper vampy color is in Plum. I'm gonna put this next to that other one. Oh yeah, this one is more of a bear. Ooh, I like this one. You guys know, I, I've never realized, a lot of you guys say, yeah, I'm, Jessica, I'm so used to seeing you in berry lip colors. So I'm like, I didn't realize I wear berry lip colors that often. And as I've gone back through my videos, I'm like, I guess I do. I didn't realize, I guess, how much I like berry lips. And I think it's because when I'm teaching, I'm, I'm not gonna wear that color. So I like playing dress up here. So that's when I get to wear my bold colors. That would be my guess. Look at that, that's the top one. I really like that one a lot. It's such a beautiful color and it's, you wouldn't guess it'd be that color from the tube. And then the last one is just a clear one. I'm not gonna, well, I could swatch it just to see if it's like weird, but no. And none of these feel sticky or anything like that um, at all. So I'm very appreciative of that and they don't have a weird smell. So those four were the ones that came in the kit. So I would say all in all, like if you were actually to place an order or if you're watching this just because you were genuinely searching for gorgeous cosmetics, like what to buy, and you're not necessarily one of my regular subscribers that watches my videos, I would recommend their eyeshadows, probably the bigger palettes. And that's the thing about limited edition, they're not always the best quality. I don't wanna say that across the board that's true, but that happens a lot. Um, but I would say stick with their kind of traditional palettes. I know they have a few different kinds. Um, the lipsticks felt really, really nice. So those would be maybe just picking out one color that you know you'd really like because they're really well made and they felt really nice on my lips. Um, other than that, I mean, I would say maybe not the eyeliners. I did really like this lip liner. So maybe you could get a lipstick and a lip liner together. Um, the lip glosses felt really nice. The shadow, like the shimmery things, I'm, it's not, I'm not big into them. So but they felt really nice, so if you are looking for one, I mean, it might be worth a try. Um, but like I said, I would say the eyeliners maybe stay away from. I am excited to try this foundation because it felt so nice and not tacky, but I'll have to get back to you on this because I don't want to recommend this without having a clue how it looks on my face, although I'm recommending the shadows and I haven't tried them on my eyes, but regardless. Hopefully this was helpful. It was more of a haul and a first impressions than anything else. Let me know what you'd like me to review below. If you love watching reviews like this, most of my reviews are typically drugstore, not high-end like this. So I can link my reviews playlist down below where I do demos with a lot of products as well. And I hope you'll subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.